I've always had the mind of an engineer. I wanted to know how things worked and would physically break them down into parts I could understand. My parents quickly realized it was to their benefit that I preferred tools to dolls. They handed me the hammer and the wrench and the snow shovel and got used to the idea of having an engineer around the house. Amid pieces of me breaking apart their lamps and remote controls and even toilet bowls, my parents made this decision to encourage me. They told me I had the power to become anything I wanted to be. I'm here today because I need to see more girls accessing this power. According to the National Girls Collaborative Project, males are six times more likely to have taken an engineering course. Only 18% of the bachelor degrees in engineering are awarded to women annually, and just 13% of the engineering workforce is female. It's a trend we're all aware of. Women are historically and statistically underrepresented in the STEM, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics fields. So although I should be excited by the number of eligible bachelors in my engineering classes, what I'm seriously lacking is some girl power. America needs to step up its game. In this generation, if we intend to remain an innovative forefront in the increasingly competitive global society, how can we make great leaps forward if half of our population is still lagging behind? I want to see the gender gap in STEM close in my lifetime. My idea for confronting this gap is the coupling of two solutions. One is mentoring, and the other is hands-on learning. These give girls both confidence in their abilities and a positive example in STEM. When used together, mentoring and hands-on learning has proven to be extremely effective. Who comes to mind when you think of a great scientist. Einstein, Darwin, Galileo, Isaac Newton, these male mentors with their funny hair are not who I see when I look in the mirror. Because of the low numbers of women in STEM fields, the cycle continues where girls simply believe science is not for them. Girls need to see examples over and over again of people they can actually relate to succeeding in STEM. Thinking about this issue inspired me to develop the concept of a three-generational line. My idea is a pipeline that introduces girls to a STEM concept and carries them through a line of mentorship towards careers. This idea needs to be talked about. It's on the global mindset, and I presented it as a panelist at the Global Women's Initiative Conference in Chicago last fall. This three-generational model could be the key to obtaining and then retaining women in the STEM fields. It starts at the top, where professionals must make the decision to give back through mentoring. So the first step in this generational line is connecting college-age students with these professionals. For example, as a first-year student, I founded the American Society of Civil Engineers, ASCE, on Stony Brook campus. The purpose of a professional society like ASCE is for the younger members from any background to seek career guidance from those already established in the field. As president of ASCE Stony Brook, I bring in speakers as often as we can connect with female speakers who present about their educational journey. When these professionals give back their time, they push students forward. With a positive example of well-paid women in the workforce, College students see the light at the end of their rigorous work. Many young girls just seek to be older. They want that ability to go where they want, when they want to. Young girls really relate and aspire to the independence of a college student. This is the next step in the generational line, and it is already being implemented right here at Stony Brook. The Women in Science and Engineering program WISE program was my eureka moment to get involved in STEM learning. I knew that I wanted to apply to a technical college program, but I was being met with a lot of strange encouragement. People told me that being a girl in engineering was my golden ticket to any university I wanted to go to, but I didn't want to be accepted based on just a statistical need. 
I wanted to walk into a college program based on intelligence and capability and talent. And the WISE program at Stony Brook offered me an even playing field where the gender aspect was eliminated. And in coming here, I found a community of like-minded women who use STEM together to advance. This is what I had been looking for. This is what inspires me to give back. And summer 2013, I connected with the WISE program. I wrote, designed, and tested a new curriculum in civil engineering, now being implemented through high school WISE for younger students. This curriculum is where my second solution, hands-on learning, comes into play. Civil engineering is a very versatile field. This umbrella term encompasses several types of engineering, including environmental, structural, and transportation. I fell in love with the idea of becoming a civil engineer because they are the agents of help that design the society around us. Everything from the roads we drive on to the homes we live in to the tap we drink out of is a product of civil engineering. I believe there's something exciting about civil for everyone. It's all around us. Unfortunately, many students have never even heard of this major. The curriculum I wrote uses fun, hands-on projects to engage girls in the different aspects of engineering. These projects are designed to be sustainable and low budget. They can be scaled up or down in difficulty in regard to the student's grade level. For example, I designed a project called Newspaper Domes, a lesson in structural engineering. The premise of our project is to follow a blueprint to design and actually build one of these large dome structures. For younger students, Newspaper Domes is an excellent example of the importance of teamwork to the engineering disciplines. And for older students, Newspaper Domes is a practical example of physics concepts they will see in an early college classroom. We talk about the reaction of our structure in response to applied loads, and we practice drawing free body diagrams. We also think about the strength of our material, and we brainstorm. What could be sturdier than just newspaper? As they learn that a structure is only as strong as its founding materials, they come to understand that a STEM student is only as strong as the skills they build up. Hands-on learning changes girls, from being outnumbered in their classrooms to having the most desirable skill set to succeed. Mentoring gives them the confidence to apply what they have learned. In the evaluations of my program, I got a lot of feedback about the benefits girls see when they are exposed to STEM. Seven out of seven of these post surveys indicated science as an intended course of study in college. Four out of seven listed engineering, with two specifying civil engineering. In making their final comments about the program, one student said, civil engineering was not a field I had previously considered, but now is a more relevant major on my own list of possible careers. And another girl said, I really enjoyed this a lot. It opened my eyes to new aspects of engineering. It is clear that these girls have an open mind about science. They've seen success, and now they're ready to access it. Mentorship and hands-on learning has impacted their confidence and opened the door to STEM. My curriculum is currently in its third semester with a class of 11 brilliant girls. I hope that by sharing my idea today, we can see the broader impact. Any educator could implement this type of curriculum or other low-budget projects to spark a passion for STEM in their classrooms. Any parent can do what mine did, open up the conversation about STEM, supplement thinking skills with books and games and even apps. Any of you could empower a girl through just a compliment, and that is my challenge to you today. But I'm tired of the words like cute and pretty and princess. When we change the way we address girls, we change the way girls think about themselves. Together, we can change the way the world thinks about girls. I challenge you to tell a girl she is bold. She is smart. She is a detective. She is an engineer.
Thank you. Thank you.